guys, it's Lexi, long time no see. I am very excited to be back in front of the camera filming a video for you guys. I feel like it's been like almost two months now, which is insane. Um, just to give you guys like a super brief recap, I was sick a few times, I lost my sense of smell. Um, Tom and I went away on a trip to Florida for a couple weeks, so that was, um, we weren't melting at all. I wasn't melting when I was sick. Um, I just really pretty much took this melting basket and it got pushed back and then whenever I'd get like a small glimpse of time to like melt, I would, but it seemed that I was only being, like I only was able to melt in t like small time frames between when I was sick, between the trip. Um, and then we also did a very exciting thing and we adopted a new kitten. So these past two months have just been like the transition period, um, which we got her like towards the end of February. So it's been like a bit of a transition period. Um, I will try to snag her quick to show you guys, but I don't want to make this video super long. So I'll jump right into it. Um, like I mentioned, this is like from the February melting basket, which was fairy tales by the fireplace theme. So a lot of like cozy, warm scents. And I was able to get a lot accomplished as far as like melting, but it just was chunked up in different times. So some things I have notes on and then my kind of mindset as far as this empties video is just like if it was that good of a scent, I would really remember it. So I will let you know. And then if I'm like, I don't remember this, then it's probably something that I wouldn't repurchase anyway. Um, but OK, so let's dive into the non empty empties. Let me start with this, actually, which I'm laughing because this is one of the misses, I guess, of the group. And I really thought I was going to like this more. It is the Teddy Bees Over the Hill and Through the Woods, which is her blend of Christmas trees and cream and warm apple cider. And on cold, I really thought I was going to enjoy this more. Like, I like it on cold, but then it totally changed on warm and became like a very like cinnamon spicy other kind of spices honestly there it almost smelled like cooking spices like pepper spices it had like this weird like spicy note to it and i think it must have been whatever is in the apple cider like mulling spices but also like cooking spices i don't know how to describe it this wasn't a favorite of mine i'm actually going to just see if anybody in my family wants this um because i'm, I'm not going to be melting anymore but as far as like the performance, it performed fine. It performed good. I just, the scent didn't translate from cold to warm for me, um, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, I also don't know if I love the Christmas trees and cream scent. I don't know. I've kind of realized that, that I don't think that that's my favorite scent either. Um, so I'm going to try to either see if I have any just plain Christmas trees and cream or maybe next time if it comes around, which I'm sure it won't in this next Teddy Bees release, but I'll try to grab like a small like souffle and just melt it and see if I do like it on like its own or if it maybe was just the, the cider that was blended that I didn't love. Unsure. Anyway, on to the next one. This is Spark It Up, which is a custom that I made with British Creepy Treasures and it is patchouli crackling birch by the campfire and marshmallow bomb and the by the campfire oil has like patchouli and I think like blackberries and marshmallows in it and I love this blend um I only melted like a small sliver of it but the day I melted it I really did enjoy it and I feel like this is something that I definitely am going to want to melt more towards like the fall months because it just kind of like patchouli and like the smoky like marshmallow -y scents kind of remind me more of like late fall like around halloween so i'm probably gonna hold on to this for then um because it is kind of a deeper heavier scent and i'm definitely ready to switch out this melting basket get some brighter happier scents um i think i'm gonna do like a mini one just for this week and then move into doing like a fun like bright spring kind of one so that's gonna be exciting um let me see okay so i've got a few more bags here and I know it looks like a lot, but I, I didn't, I feel like I melted like a crazy person. We'll do rapid fire. So I have Rose Girl's Shadow Queen, which is a Mario Melter. It is Lord of Misrule, Marshmallow Fireside, 
tobacco and vanilla bourbon. I really love the scent. I forgot how much I like this until I melted it. This is definitely a scent that once I use it up, I will repurchase it. It was a strong performer. Definitely like a very like masculine nighttime kind of like comforting scent. Um, this one here was not a part of my melting basket originally. This is peppermint. And like I mentioned, I was sick twice. Um, really not feeling good, lost my sense of smell. And this is the Roast Girls Peppermint, which you guys, if you've smelled this before, you know it's strong. I could not smell this the day that I put it in my warmers and that's when I was like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. So I did melt quite a bit of this, um, but literally couldn't smell it. And I know that it has to be, I know it was just my nose because I was sick, because dang, that in the bag right now, it is so strong, but when I was sick, and I smelled the bag, like just sniffing the bag. I was like, I can't smell a single thing. So obviously my nose went rogue, but that's what happens when you get sick. This one is Rose Girl Snow Fairy, which is like a lush dupe. It smells kind of like bubble gum and cotton candy. I don't know, it's more bubble gummy. Um, I really like this scent. I've held on to this. this. I've had this for a while. This has been probably a few years I've had this. And man, this is still a really good performer. So as far as like longevity, this has been holding up. Um, and I like, it, especially when I just want like a bright, fun, like almost like childlike scent um, that came in clutch for that. This one is Princess It's Cold Outside from Rose Girls. And this is another Mario Melter. Um, it's blueberry pumpkin pancakes and brown sugar. And I'm not sure if the blueberry pumpkin pancake oil that is used in here is the same as blueberry pumpkin patch like the dupe from bath and body works which i think it might be and that candle from bath and body works that scent from bath and body works isn't a favorite scent of mine there's just something that's like the blueberries like a little bit too tart a little too bitter um and so i think it might have been this because this wasn't a favorite scent of mine this is another one that I might pass on kind of similarly to the Over the Hills and Through the Woods. Maybe this will be passed on to somebody else. Um, possibly I'll give it another shot just because I only melted like, I think like three cubes of this. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It wasn't like a favorite, but the performer, performance <laughs> was fine for that. I don't remember that being like anything that I was like, I can't smell it. It definitely was there. Um, this one, okay, so I've got a few things here from Empire Alchemy. Actually, let's start with this one. This is Magic Carpet Ride, and I have two bags put together in here, so it really doesn't look like I touched it, but I did use a lot of this. An amazing scent. It is so pretty. The scent notes on this are night blooming jasmine, satiny carpet, and warm breezes over sand. First off, I love the name. The colors on this are so pretty to me, and the scent is just like... I know I've talked about this a hundred times on my channel. It's like you're at like a resort hotel on the beach or like one of those like built over the water, like cabana kind of type style houses. And there's like fresh, like white curtains that have just been washed that are like blowing in from like the ocean into the room. And it's just like the bedding's all clean and fresh. And it just smells like clean and fresh and sweet. And I just love the scent. Um, performs beautifully when every time I melt this in the house I just it brings me like a sense of comfort and peace it's just very like calming so love that scent and then I have two more for Empire Alchemy this one is Red Hood um, this one is fresh strawberry fig jam cornbread and campfire marshmallows and I don't know necessarily if I would say fig there is like a bakery component to this but it's mainly like that strawberry that strawberry jam kind of scent with like maybe, I guess a little bit of fig. Fig is kind of earthy. It's like a, yeah, it's just like a berry, almost like a, maybe not strawberry, but the fig maybe makes it more like almost like a wild berry jam kind of a scent um, with like a, a touch of bakery. It's really, really lovely. Um, not as good of a performer, in my opinion, as this one was. The Magic Carpet Rides is a very great, strong performer. Um, this was a little bit on the lighter end, but I still enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I, I mean, I've got a lot, so I'm not sure if I would eventually repurchase that one, but definitely the Magic Carpet Rides. Um, this one is Lost in the Woods. And this was another one that was probably about the same as far as performance, kind of like right in the middle, um, 
leaning a tad light um, as the Red Hood one. And Lost in the Woods is candied cinnamon, pecans, pine, needle, pine needles, vanilla ice cream, apple peels, and chopped wood. Um, and this one also, like I said, not super, super strong, but when I did smell it, it was mostly like that apple peel, kind of like woodsy, apple-y scent. So like almost if you were like out in nature, like walking like a trail and there's like an orchard nearby that was like dropping apples. And it wasn't like rotten apples, but the apples definitely smelled like that they have been like on the ground for a little bit. That's kind of the vibe that I got from this. So I did like this one. And I think, honestly, I think I'd probably... Probably if I was going to repurchase Red Hood or Lost in the Woods, I'd probably go the Lost in the Woods route. But um, both, I, I feel like when it comes to like Empire Alchemy, her scents are very like multi-layered. Like there's a lot of different things, like the notes all kind of like work together, but they're very interesting. It's not just kind of like banana, strawberry, ice cream. It's like much more like, I don't know, different layers, different levels. I like it. Okay, so those were all the non-empty empties. There were also a few things that I just didn't even get to. I think like winter in the big tub from Teddy Bee's, I didn't even end up touching that one. Um, I just have, I'm kind of like, now I'm like just really beyond the wintry snow, peppermint, uh, pine tree scents. I'm like, I'm kind of past that. Um, definitely looking forward to some spring scents. So, all right, let's talk about these ones quickly before we go into the bags. This one here is Cuddle Up from Sensationals. I have multiple backups of this. I love the scent. I gave it an eight out of 10. So good, sweet and fresh and clean. And it's just like, this is kind of like, um, if you can't get your hands on the magic carpet rides and you want something that's kind of similar, then the Cuddle Up is, it's not definitely not exactly the same, but it gives you like that sweet laundry, like resort kind of scent, at least to my nose. We've got um, Smoky Mountain Air, and this is from Better Homes and Gardens. This is one that I kind of like moved over from my previous melting basket. And this one also reminds me of my grandparents. I gave it an eight out of 10. And Tom actually mentioned that he really loved this one and was sad to see it go. So don't think I can get any more of this because I think it is just a, a one and done limited edition. I haven't seen this one back around, but if I did, I would definitely grab more. I've got two things here from K Scent and Melt. I have Through the Woods, which is Fraser Fir, Sugar Cookie, and Peppermint Stick. This was definitely like a light to medium scent, definitely a little bit on the lighter end. I gave it a six out of 10 for, for performance. And I said it was an enjoyable blend um, and very evenly blended, like well blended. This is something that I feel like I would definitely pick this one up again, possibly next year um, once we're back in like the winter season. I was looking at my winter drawer, like my Christmas drawer, and it's pretty small, which I'm feeling good about because that means I won't start with having to like get through old stuff, which is always a good feeling. So that might be something I pick up next year because I did like it. Just wish it was a little stronger. And I feel like if I get it myself and like let it cure, it'll be maybe a little bit stronger next year um, because these were passed on to me from like when we did like the, the box that went around there. Um, so I don't know, I don't know the date that these came in or whatever. So anyway, this one is Applewood and Fur Needle. And this one also I gave same, like a six out of 10. And I said it was surprisingly sweeter than expected. Um, and yeah, Applewood Fur Needle. I'm not sure if there was a marshmallow note at all in this, but I really felt like when it was melting, I felt like it was like almost reminded me of like the apple s'more scents from Scentsy. Not exactly, definitely not exactly, but like there was this sweet kind of like almost marshmallow-y can component to this, which I really did enjoy. So I'd possibly repurchase that one again. Just also wish it was a little stronger. Um, this one is that Smell Good Shop is scoopable. And this was in Winter is Coming, which is evergreen, winter citrus, and moss. And this one I gave, I, well, I guess I didn't score it, but I just said so strong, green and citrusy. And I said, I preferred it better once it was warmed. So on cold sniff, like just sniffing this, um, it definitely is like very green and like definitely mossy smelling, but then you warm this and then the moss kind of tones back, but the citrus kind of amps up. So it was like a very green, clean kind of scent, but also like a little outdoorsy, like if you're, if you lived in the woods and you were like 
doing dishes with like a lemon dish soap, but you were in the forest. I don't know. Very interesting. And it had just rained. Very interesting scent. I did like it. I don't know if I'd repurchase it again, but like I said, this was so strong. The, out of all of the scents here, this was probably the strongest wax for this whole melting basket. So it gets an award for that. Um, all right. We've got lots of bags here. I have Southbound's Cozy Vibes. This was a sample in sugared vanilla or vanilla sugar, <laughs> vanilla orchid, cedar wood, smooth musk, leather, sandalwood, and rich amber. This was beautiful. I have this in a larger size. I'm very happy I have it in a larger size. I was shocked by how well this little sample performed in my bathroom, but definitely really enjoyed it. Definitely like a warm, almost reminded me of like a library, like a library with like old worn books and leather chairs, that kind of a scent. That's what it reminded me of, and I loved it. I also got this, um, I participated in like the Wax Wednesday. I only got five like half, uh, I don't even know what they're called, like that half BAM bags. Um, I'll have to do a haul on that one too um, to show you guys. But this was the sample that came with it and I was really excited about the sample and I just wanted to try it. And it's called Don't, D Donut, <laughs> Donut, Donut Judge Me. Oh my gosh, I can't say that. Um, and this was really, really nice when I warmed it up. It smelled like actual donuts. So loved that. That was a good performer. Um, this is from the bathing garden and this is fireside latte. This one I really liked. It just kind of smelled like a, like a marshmallow fireside mixed with a coffee scent, which was nice on the opposite side. This is plum snow from the bathing garden. This really didn't have any scent. I, I didn't pick up a darn thing when I melted this, which was a huge bummer. If I hovered over the warmer, I kind of got like a fruity scent, but it wasn't a great performer. And then I'm back to the opposite side. This is Dragon's Glare from the Bathing Garden. This was so strong. This was like a cinnamon, um, definitely like a cinnamon spice with like maybe clove. It was definitely clove, I think, clove heavy cinnamon. It was a lot of spices and it was very like, very strong. Um, definitely like this one. I'll see if I can find the notes anywhere. If I, if I can, I'll leave them here somewhere. Um, but man, this was crazy strong performer, not necessarily like my scent preference, but still performed great. Um, another sample here in fairy sheets. This is the same scent as snow fairy from like lush, like a dupe. And this is from Hayden row. Um, this is like one of the only, I got like a small sampler bag of Hayden row stuff that I'm trying to like, see if I want to order from. I think Hayden Rose thing, and let me know in the comments below, I think that they do a lot of like fresh, clean scents, right? Um, I might have to look into possibly like placing an order with them because I want to say that I've seen them do like, like a carnival inspired kind of release. Um, if anybody knows any information about it, leave it down in the comments because when I go off my no buy or low buy in June, I'm gonna wanna try some different vendors, I'm thinking. That's kind of what I'm realizing is that I've gotten kind of in a rut with just purchasing from the exact same vendors. I like clean scents, but I like more like sweet scents occasionally, I guess, especially in this. I'm definitely looking forward to like sweet candy scents now. Um, so yeah, let me know. Anyway, this is Destination Wax, my love from another star. And this is Strawberries, Cotton Candy, and Magic Spell. And Magic Spell is like the Victoria's Secret Love Spell dupe scent. This is really, really, it's just like a sweeter take on Love Spell, and I really enjoyed this one. I would repurchase that, but it wasn't like a super strong performer, but still really liked it. Um, this one was New Orleans Beignets from Dess's Homespun Scents. This is one I melted because it was right around um, Fat Tuesday, so I wanted to kind of have a little celebration there. It is deep fried pastry dough with a pillowy center and a gen generous dusting of powdered sugar. This was very, um, like a deep, like deep fried scent. It had like definitely like a fried kind of quality to it. I liked it, but I don't know if I would necessarily want to go and pick this one up again. Um, but it was interesting how it did kind of have like a fried scent to it. So, um, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm huge on like fried dough scents and, and vendor wax anyway. So, um, that, that one's a maybe, but it performed pretty well. Um, and then this one is Salt Mountain Melts Peachy Keen, which is peach ring lemonade. It just smells like straight up like peach ring candy with lemonade. Amazing performer. I loved this one. Um, yeah, lasted a good long time. So that one was great. Definitely would repurchase that scent. This one is Warm and Cozy from Teddy Bees, 
which is tonka bean, jasmine, patchouli, vanilla, blended with comfort from Beth and Body Works, which I think comfort's like, isn't it like patchouli and vanilla or something? Um, either way, loved this scent. A hundred percent would repurchase this. This is one of the top favorites of this melting basket. Really enjoyed it. I've got Anthony's Cabin. This one is also from Teddy Bees. It is birch leaves, citrus peel, pine cones, white florals, vetiver, sandalwood, and woods. Another amazing standout. Um, a lot of great Teddy Bees ones this past melting basket. Really love this. 100% would repurchase this scent. It is kind of reminds me of um, that one scent that I melted this Christmas, every Christmas, um, Blue December from... Um, from the Gypsy Monroe company um, that's out of business. I've talked about this a hundred times. I love that scent, Blue December. And this kind of gave me like similar vibes. I don't know if the pine cone oil in here is maybe similar or what it is, but amazing scent, amazing scent. I've also got Sweetheart Cookies from Teddy Bees. Another one that totally shocked me because I really didn't expect to like this one as much as I did. It is Pink Sugar, Frosted Sugar Cookies, Shortbread, Birthday Cake, and Sweet Milk. This was incredible. If this comes back, I will definitely get it in at least a tub. I loved it. It was so beautiful. And I'm not even a fan that much of pink sugar, but everything that it was blended with just made it like this super delicious. Like I almost imagine this being like the most beautiful, like pink wedding cake ever. Like it just smelled so good. Loved it. Um, this one is also a pretty good performer, but I don't know if the scent preference was like my favorite, but it was a great performer. Um, this one was Teddy Bee's Green Envy. Melted this for St. Patrick's Day. It is Bartlett Pears, Let Them Eat Cake, and Vanilla Bean Noel. This one I don't think was in the melting basket. A couple of these I just kind of threw in last minute um, just because I was getting so sick of seeing the same scents for like two months. Um, so yeah, Bartlett Pear, Let Them Eat Cake, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I liked it. It was definitely a very sweet um, pear scent. I don't, it definitely wasn't like a bakery pear. It was more like a body, it was like if you had a pear vanilla body care scent almost like a bath and body works body care kind of type scent that's what it reminded me of i liked it but i don't know if i would repurchase that one but if you like pear scents you'd probably like to try that one i thought it was good another one that was really good from teddy bees you guys teddy bees was like very like totally impressing me this past month or two months i guess um, this is Lovebirds, and this is sugary lemon, citrus fruits, green floral notes, amber woods, and a hint of vanilla. I didn't get any amber woods from this. I did get a little bit, like a tiny bit of like the green floral notes, I guess. Um, but mostly this was just like a bright citrusy scent. Kind of reminded me, actually a lot reminded me a lot of Fruit Loops. Um, it was like Fruit Loops with a bit of like a realistic earthy feel. I don't know how to describe that. It smelled like you're eating Fruit Loops in the grass outside, maybe. It, it was really, really good. I definitely enjoyed it. Also a good performer. All the Teddy Bee scents were surprisingly like really darn good performers. And I've struggled with Teddy Bees before, but not any of those. Um, I have Broomsticks from Empire Alchemy. And this one, I finished the whole bag. Really liked the scent. It was white birch, maple leaves, and white winter linen. This was just like fresh, sweet, definitely a lot of that white birch, clean, just it was like a really beautiful, like clean winter scent, like a clean, it was snowing outside when I would melt this. It was like warm and comforting, but like fresh and clean. It was really, really good. Definitely would repurchase that one next year. Um, Cabin Fever. So this one I didn't love. I actually had to kind of like fight myself to melt the rest of this. It is also from Empire Alchemy, Roasted Pine Cones, Frankincense, and Marshmallow Fireside. I think a lot of the frankincense came out, and I don't know if I necessarily loved that scent. Um, yeah, I feel like if it had been like Pine Cones and Marshmallow Fireside, I would have just liked it more. Um, but I think that that was just like my nose. I mean, if you, if you like the frankincense scent, then you probably love that. It just wasn't for me. It was very um, like resinous kind of, and I usually like like earthy type scents, but this one, I don't know. There's something that just didn't jive with my nose, but it was a very strong performer. So that was good. Um, this one was also from Empire Alchemy, not as strong as a performer. Um, didn't really get a whole lot from this. It was definitely light. It was Falling For You, Fresh Apple Strudel, Gooey Marshmallow, Caramel Custard, and Crunchy Pistachio. 
Oddly enough, this one didn't come across bakery to me. This one kind of came across body care ask, like a fall apple body care. Um, I don't know if, I don't know. It kind of reminded me, and maybe the notes are, I'll have to look, but it kind of reminded me of like the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream scent um, with apples. So that's kind of what that smelled like. I don't know if I loved it. Um, and it also wasn't like a super strong performer. I've got some, um, a couple things from Zape and then the rest are all Rose Girls. So first one from Zape is Cabin in the Woods. And this was a part of like the fall release last year. It's crisp apple, warm cider, creamy vanilla and caramel drizzle. This was delicious. I loved this. This was so strong, such a good performer. I think I have more of it if I don't. And if it comes back next year, 100% will repurchase that. I loved it. I have Aurora, and this was from the spring collection last year. I didn't participate in the spring collection this year. I've been trying so hard to be good and just not. I, I have fully like removed notifications, um, removed myself from like being able to like view any Facebook vendor wax groups right now. I just, I'm so, I'm easily tempted and I'm trying really hard not to. Um, so, and I've been doing good. I think for my low buy, no buy low buy until june i've only purchased i did get like six things of walmart wax when i had to go to walmart one day i walked by the aisle like a ding dong and i totally bought wax um but i did get those and then i did place an order for uh, uh from rose girls a while back and i'll share i only got like five bags so not crazy but she had the peppermint which i really needed because i was sick previously and then i got better and then i was like oh i don't need this now but then i got sick again so i was like oh great i need it now um, so I got peppermint and like some other scents I'll share in a different video. Um, I'll do like a little update if I can, but anyway, I've been doing good. So, um, I didn't participate in the Zape launch, even though I really wanted to, but I didn't. So anyway, this is Aurora. This is green meadows, bergamot, spring blossoms, and sweet candy lollipops. This is such a beautiful, sweet, like it's like a candied florally type scent. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like a, a sweet florally kind of candy scent. I really liked it. I'd possibly repurchase that again. Um, and then this is Blankets by the Fire, which is chunky wool blankets, charred pine and balsam. I had this in my bedroom one day and it was just beautiful and like comforting and warm. And I really liked this and I'd, I'd probably repurchase that also. And then let's actually, oh no, one more bag that's not Rose Girls and then we'll finish up with that. I finished a loaf from um, L3 Waxy Wonders in Season of the Witch and Cranberry Sweater Weather, which is apples and leaves blended together. I really like this. Um, I would possibly repurchase this scent, but in a smaller size. I really need to stop <laughs> going ham on the loaves because I can't get through them as fast as I want. Um, and this was definitely older and I, I still really enjoyed it, but I gotta slow down on the large quantities um, or the large sizes i guess whatever and then finally i've got a few bags here from rose girls um one of which i did not have in my melting basket this is monster cookie and this was given to me by beth and i just wanted to put some of this bag in my other bag just kind of consolidate and then i wanted to finish up what i had in this and i ended up melting this with rose girls raspberry sauce and it was really nice it kind of was like reminiscent of like a raspberry thumbprint cookie or like that type of a cookie and it was really really good i actually forgot how much i liked this monster cookie oil until just when i melted it recently um and this i melted just like a couple days ago so definitely love that monster cookie it's it's different all of like the rose girls cookie oils are like slightly different and I feel like this one out of all of them, I think is maybe one of my favorites um, because this one is the most baked smelling. Like there's like cookie dough, there's monster cookie, there's um, there's definitely multiple cookies. I have like all of the cookie oils and I think that the monster cookie might be my favorite with cookie, cookie land also is really good. But anyway, so I've got um, this one, which I can't remember now if this one I added in to this melting basket or if it was included. I can't, I can't even remember now because a couple of things I already just put away, um, especially like the winter things. Um, but I know that this has been in a previous melting basket, whether that was this one or the one before. It's lemon snowdrop fluff puffs. 
Man, this is good. Um, it's buttery cookies, marshmallow smoothie, lemon curd, and powdered sugar. And I did this yesterday, actually, throughout the whole house. I put it in all the warmers in my living room, kitchen, bathroom. I literally just, I was like, I got to empty this bag because I didn't want to hold on to it any longer. And I was just like, the house is clean. I want it to smell clean. And this was like amazing, um, super strong. It's a really good lemon. It's not a cleaner lemon. It's, let's see, it says lemon curd, which is, I guess, maybe making it sweeter. So it's not like cleaner-esque. It definitely is sweet, like a sweet lemon. But the thing that surprised me the most about this is that powdered sugar note. I don't know what that, I don't really know what that is or if that's like an, its own oil. I don't think that's its own oil. Maybe it's like a donut oil. Maybe it's like the, the donut hole oil. I, don't, I have no idea. But it really smells like powdered sugar. It like smelled like a lemon cookie with powdered sugar dusted all over it. Literally think of, thinking about it right now is like making my mouth water and I, I wish I wish I didn't use it all now, but whatever, it, I can buy more of this eventually. If it comes back around, I will definitely snag more of it. I definitely recommend this. The Lemon Snowdrop Fluff Puffs, that was so good. Really, if you like Lemon Bakery, that is one of the best Lemon Bakery scents that I melted. Um, all right, so I've got Snow Kingdom, and this is Candy Cane, Cool Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Musk. Um, and this one I really like too. This one reminded me of, this one reminded me of like if there was like a men's peppermint cologne almost, because I feel like it was sweet peppermint, but the musk really came through. So it was, it was almost like a peppermint men's body wash or something. I really liked it. Um, possibly would repurchase that one again. That one was like not the crazy strongest, but it was definitely a good performer. Um, this one, this is out of the woods, which this is, I'm trying to remember what the notes were. I think it was balsam. I'll have to leave them if I can find them. I think it's balsam and Palo Santo, I want to say, because I don't have the notes on here. Um, I think that's what it was. Um, either way, this is a scent that I like, but I don't love, and I, I don't think I would go out of my way to pick up more of this. Um, it was nice, but I, I definitely am moving beyond the, the tree scent. So I think maybe I, maybe I just melted this. Had I melted this a little bit earlier, maybe I would have liked it more. And I think I did melt it earlier and I maybe enjoyed it more, but um, I don't think I would repurchase this. It's good. It's it's a definitely more of like a masculine leaning Palo Santo. I think it is Palo Santo. And it's definitely more a little bit more like masculine leaning, but the tree does make it kind of outdoorsy. I don't know. It's not. It just wasn't a favorite of mine, which... You win some, you lose some. This one is by the campfire. And I think that this is just like a single oil, fragrance oil. I think this is the one with like the patchouli and the blackberry. I think it's blackberry in it, right? Loved this. Um, this fragrance oil is really good. It's just like, kind of reminds me of like a Halloween like night or like an October evening, like late in the night, the moon is out. You, the, you can see the clouds around the moon and it you can just smell like people with bonfires or like chimney smoke like this cold night you can smell like almost like the smokiness of like chimneys in the distance and there's like a sweetness maybe you're eating like a like a raspberry lollipop or something or like a blackberry lollipop or something like that it's sweet there's like warmth but there's like outdoorsy like the patchouli and it just i really like this it's really good definitely would always repurchase this it's a good Really, actually, really good performer. Um, this I melted pretty early on in the melting basket <laughs> thing um, with the whole whatever craziness that I've been through. But um, this is one that I've melted before, I've loved, and I will always repurchase. Whenever I see it come back, um, I'll definitely snag more. This is the S'more the Better. Um, this was a customer creation, I want to say, back last year when they did that. Um, it's S'mores Latte, Cookie Land, Nilla Noel, and Whipped Cream. And I feel like this one wasn't a, wasn't a favorite of mine. I think maybe it's the S'more Latte oil that I don't love. Um, but it wasn't also like super, super strong. Um, it was just kind of like a subtle coffee, like a sweet kind of like 
creamy coffee scent. Um, yeah, I, I didn't love it, but I definitely didn't like hate it by any means. It just was like, it was okay. It was like a nice subtle coffee scent. And if you like coffee scents, but sometimes they're like too strong, then I feel like this was a very subdued sweet coffee. Cause a lot, I feel like latte isn't like what it's like just so barely coffee. It's such for like the scent. It's like just a kiss of coffee. So if you're a person that likes a little bit of coffee, but not a lot of, a lot of coffee, like the espresso oil or like just the coffee oil, then this is probably one that you would like the most. Cause it's just a, just a little bit of coffee and a lot of sweeter things. Um, then, okay. These are two total favorites. Oh my goodness. So good. Um, this is as long as you love me. And this was also a customer creation. I believe it was strawberry pound cake, moo moo track, monster cookie fluff puffs and cookie land. Um, so this was just like a lot of things that I love kind of all combined together. I will say, I think I prefer moo moo track on its own and like strawberry cookie land on its own. But this was just like that. This was like, if you mix those two together. So it was just like really, really sweet. Um, kind of reminded me of like if you had like a banana split sundae and you put like a ton of like strawberry at the start i feel like strawberry and the banana was the strongest in this but maybe like banana banana split sandwich between cookies with like strawberry sauce on top that's kind of the vibe that i got from this this is such a such a good scent um this is a sweet princess party which this one is part of the mario melter collection i believe I think um, maybe this was a customer creation. I can't remember. Either way, this scent is phenomenal. It's strawberry pound cake, cookie land, uh, cupcakes at Tiffany's and vanilla ice cream. And I totally for have forgotten how much I really enjoy the cupcakes at Tiffany's fragrance oil. It is so good. Like the toffee kind of note in it is just like right up my alley. Um, this was one of the first things that I also melted from this melting basket before I got sick and went on vacation, all that stuff. But I remember this being like, just so good and being like, ah, oh, this is a great way to kick off this melting basket. Um, but then I obviously had all the problems or whatever, but this is such a good scent. We'll always repurchase that also. And that was all of my stuff. So, I mean, a ton, this is, this is, this is a ton of stuff here and I couldn't even pick up the whole handful. So yes, it was like two months. Um, so I could have probably went through a lot more had I not, you know, been sick and went on vacation for two weeks and got the cat. And I, right when we got her and let her into, we kind of slowly like let her into the like living, main living area. Um, and then at night she's got like her own bedroom. Um, her and Theo get along well, but we're still trying to kind of make sure because he likes he kind of gets a he plays a little rough um so we're trying to make sure he doesn't like hurt her at night so she she stays in her own bedroom at night um but right when we transitioned her into like the main living area i wasn't even turning on my warmers at that point i was just keeping everything off because she's a jumper and a climber and she's she has the crazy kitten energy and I really didn't want her knocking stuff down. She already knocked down like a wine glass once and it just shattered. And I was like, all right, we're not gonna, we're just gonna keep everything off for now and try to keep her off of stuff. And um, it's been good so far, but now I'm warming things again. Um, but for a minute there, I wasn't even warming anything. So I wanna share one more thing. Today is Sunday, the 26th when I'm filming this. And Saturday, it looks like Saturday is the first of, April, which is insane that we're already in April. I want to give myself like a totally new melting basket for April for the whole month. Um, and I have that picked out already. I'm really excited about it, but I have a week left and I'm so tired of all of the stuff from like the past two months. I can't even like look at some of that wax anymore. Some of it I could melt still, but most of it, I'm just like, I got to put this back. Um, so I figured I would do something just for this week. And um, I gave myself a, a mini theme of like Harry Potter just because I, I uh, put my Scentsy Club order back out for, I skipped this one. So it was supposed to come in March, 
but I skipped it. So I, I think I'm going to be getting it in June. Um, but I have a ton of stuff that I need to test. And a lot of the things that I need to test are all of the Harry Potter bars because currently they're sitting in my Scentsy Club, but I don't know if I want to keep any of them or take them out so I can make room for other stuff. My Scentsy Club right now, I just keep putting stuff in there, putting stuff in there and I'm like, I'll try it, I'll try it. But then it either the catalog changed or it was a small collection and then it's no longer available. So I have all of these things that are like, I can't skip them another time kind of a thing because I'll lose them um, and I need to shrink this back down to a normal Scentsy Club. So like I said, Harry Potter themed because I have a ton of Harry Potter stuff. I also threw in a few vendor wax things that are maybe Harry Potter-esque themed. So let's just go through the Scentsy bars. Um, if you guys saw the Harry Potter collection, you'll know all of these. Um, I have the Wizarding World, which is, this one kind of, this one kind of smells like cologne to me. We'll see. This one is um, Gryffindor, which smells like, like a barbecue grill to me. Um, I have the Hufflepuff. This one smells like honey. I have um, Slytherin. That one smells like a really nice men's cologne. This one, I think, I think I did take maybe these two out. Um, I think this one's still available, but I'm pretty sure I immediately took that out. So we'll test it either way. Um, then I have uh, Ravenclaw from Harry Potter. And this one I like. That one smells like leather chairs and books and stuff. Um, and then, because I thought it was kind of fun to have a few other things, I also included um, the Scentsy Casting Spells. This was available during like a Bring Back My Bar. And it's like apples and pears, I think. Um, pears and apples and maybe like spices. Um, but this clamshell came broken and I've had it for a while. And I've noticed it's a little bit drier than my other clamshell. So I'd like to just use that up because it's probably not gonna last forever. Um, and then I also have a clamshell from The Bathing Garden. And this I thought was just too cute and I had to include it in this like mini melting basket. It's chocolate chai frogs. And it literally has like little frogs and it reminded me of the scene from Harry Potter where they're eating the chocolate frogs and they jump around or whatever. Um, I think it's like the first movie, right? Uh, then I have a few other small like vendor wax things here. So we've got Dusty's Homespun Scents uh, Library of Enchantment. And it is uh, aged old books, parchment, leather spines, and smoldering fireplaces. We've got a Destination Wax bar in Magic Marshmallow. So Magic Spell plus Creamy Marshmallow. And Magic Spell is the Love Spell dupe, which I love. I really like the Love Spell like oil that um, Destination Wax uses. I feel like it's like right on the money. Then I've got um, Spider Bites from Zape, and this is Hazelnut and Cafe Mocha. I only have a little bit left of that, and I could use that in like just a second. So. Uh, that reminded me of, like that giant spider from Harry Potter. I've got Secret Coven because Coven is for witches and witches are in Harry Potter. It's Nag Champa, Pumpkin Hollow, Vanilla, Pumpkin Marshmallow. Um, and this is from British Creepy Treasures. We've got one from Vintage Chic Scents and like a film bar. And this is in the scent White Witch, which is rain, bonfire, and crunchy leaves. So I'd like to try to use that up. And then just because I, I like to have stuff for my bathroom um, and there's like five or six days left. So I figured for bathroom stuff, we've got Tincture of Shadow, which is kind of witchy. We've got Witch of the Wood. We've got Cauldron Brew, Old Salem Broom Company and Magic Green Soup. So all kind of like witchy. They're all kind of like the Halloween releases, but I figured they'd be good for bathroom melts and um, so I could kind of try to work through some of these other Scentsy bars. That's going to be my main focus is the Scentsy bars. But that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. Um, if there's anything new going on in the wax world, I have been just completely out of it. I haven't looked at Instagram. I haven't looked at like the Facebook groups. I think maybe I've seen a couple Facebook posts. Um, that I posted on, I think for um, Birdie's Making Sense, I posted on hers uh, a few times. But like other than that, like I, I, I've been so out of the loop. I'm so out of the loop. So if you guys feel like you should fill me in on anything, fill me in. Um, hopefully I can get back to a routine. I'm feeling a little bit better about um, where I am with Jade and like getting her kind of like 
used to everything in the house. Everything's kind of getting back to normal. Tom was away on a trip. Uh, he went to like Las Vegas and like did some cycling out there. So he was gone for two weeks. Um, so I was kind of just trying to keep stuff locked down at home. Um, just kind of keep stuff going here. So yeah, it's just been, it's been a crazy past few months of just life being life. But you know what? I, uh, I'm just going to try to get right back to it and um, melt my wax because this is what I love. So let me try to go grab Jade so you guys can see her and then I'll let you go. We've got Theo and Jade. So Theo's on the top trying to shake for a treat. And there's Jade down there being very good kitties. Okay, let's see. Let's see you guys do a trick. Okay. Can you guys sit? Sit, Jade. Jade, sit. Good girl. And that's them. All right. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.